giving myself a hand clap because I already know I'm about to put in that work today. What is up, guys? I'm Silas Williams, aka the Swole Fester, here to educate you on health, fitness, social well-being. Today, guys, we are two dose. I don't know how to say two in any other language other than uh, Spanish. Anyway, yeah, two weeks out from Summer Power Fest from my meet. Today is going to be the heaviest deadlift that I've done, like the heaviest pull. I have a single RP8 that I have done this entire prep. It'll probably be the heaviest pull I've ever done. It actually might honestly be a PR. Um, just based on the way that my dose has been progressing, but it's the last heavy pull before my meet. So I'm excited. I'm hyped. Pretty much. Oh, for, before I get into that, so let me let me tell you pretty much like what this day is. This is day one on the meso cycle, so you guys know. So that, you know, I have my two singles on squats, then my back down work, then I have a single on deadlift, back down work, that's pretty much it. Um essentially today's a little bit different though. Last week I had my singles at RP7 and RP8 on squats and then a single RP7 on deadlifts. Today, like I said, RP8 on the deadlifts. Before that, I have a single RP5 and RP6 on squats. And it's going to be kind of the same thing tomorrow, just having a single on bench, uh, two singles on bench, RP5 and RP6. And then I'll have heavier singles later in the week. And this is pretty much just to further reduce fatigue even more as I lead up into my meet. So, you know, this week's a little bit easier in that sense. But then next week, we go back to like RP7s and 8s, leading in hard to the actual meet day itself. So it's like, the beginning of this week is a little bit easier, and then we push a little bit more the second half half of the week. But then next week, you know, we push a little bit more at the beginning of the week. Then we kind of ease up a little bit, leading into the meet, so I can smash some PRs. But while pretty much about to hit the gym right now, but while I'm driving to the gym, I'm gonna let some clips play from this past week, just so you guys kind of see what I've been up to as far as like you know my working sets on the day, stuff like that, and what's going on. I'm gonna be talking to you guys pretty much about a few things that you guys have been asking me. Um, a lot of you asked me like, you know, hey, was I gonna be at Dallas Europa? Well, by the time this video is out, you guys are gonna know that I didn't. Dallas Europa was actually today, the expo. A lot of you were asking me if I was gonna be at the summer shredding event like I was last year. Obviously, by the time this video is out, you're gonna know that I wasn't because once again, um, that was yesterday, and then like, I think the actual bodybuilding show was yesterday, and if they're still in the gym meetup or whatever, I think that's like today, I don't know. But basically, just gonna be explaining to you guys like, you know, why I didn't, kind of like what my priority is right now as far as my meet, and kind of just like, I think the right mindset that people need to have whenever you set a goal and when you're fixed on that. I know it's so cliche, right? People always talk about that, like, hey, as I'm doing my prep, let me talk to you guys about like, goals and staying true. But no, like, you guys know whenever I talk, I'm just, I'm just being transparent, just being real, just gonna pretty much tell you guys, What's up? So I'm gonna let that happen. Then by the time that's done, we gonna be at POD, at the gym, gonna knock out the squats, gonna knock out the heavy pull, gonna keep it all raw. Um, as far as like the actual, today's workout, not the clips they're about to play, obviously. Can't do that because it's already done, can't be raw. But anyway, I'm hyped. I might throw my singlet on for today's workout, just, you know, practice how I play a little bit. Uh, even though I, I'll be honest guys, like I don't like the single that I have right now, like the SPD one, when you guys see me pass me, it's like it's so ugly to me, I just don't like it. But that's why I already ordered a new one. So hopefully that's here by the time I meet you. But anyway, man, we like three minutes in this video. I've done enough talking. I'm hyped. I have to get myself hyped. Like, I'm ready. I want to kill this fool. Let's go. All right, guys. So like I said, on screen is just going to be clips from this past week. You're going to see all my top working sets pretty much from every single day from this past week. But yeah, I just wanted to chat with you guys really quickly. I'm just going to be really blunt and really honest. A lot of you, like I said, have been asking, like, you know, if I was going to go to uh, summer shredding or you know if I was gonna go to the Europa and at this point like you know it's already passed and you guys have asked me like hey why aren't you going like you gotta stand if you want to grow your channel if you want to keep you know getting exposure you got to network you got to hop on these opportunities especially when you're about to come and go and stuff like that and guys I agree I completely get that networking is important um, and, and beyond that you know just going to events like that is really fun it's also really humbling for me like to be able to go to those things and meet with you guys but here's the thing you guys have to understand I am someone who's really focused on living in the now, meaning I'm focused on what my priorities are right now, even though, yes, absolutely, going to different events, going to different expos, meeting people, networking, that's going to do a lot for, you know, the, my, the future of this channel. It's going to help me a lot just potentially in this industry. The fact is I'm in the middle of prep, not in the middle, I'm like almost at the end of this prep, right? And for me, you know traveling to different places or doing anything that's just going to take more energy away from you know pretty much recovering for this meet and recovering from training isn't worth doing to me right now not even for you know potential uh potentially something that could be very beneficial to me in the long term now don't get me wrong you guys know i'm all about planning out for the long term right long term success but the thing is i'm also big on understanding the fact that you know tomorrow isn't promised i don't want to risk messing up something that i'm really focused on right now 
for something that might potentially help me later you know what i mean so that's really what it comes down to guys like this meat's a big deal to me like i'll explain to you guys more later like why this meat matters so much more I, I think you know you guys have like some ideas about like you know like why it this meat actually means more to me just based off certain things i've said in past videos but the fact of the matter is even though it's just the local meat this is probably like the first time i've really like just really been overly invested in a local meat beyond just wanting to perform well there's various reasons that i want to perform well and i'll get more into that probably like you know when we're like you know one week out or maybe even during like the meat video itself but the point is nothing else really matters to me right now you know outside of like you know taking care of my clients you know um taking care of you know like responsibilities and stuff like you know with friends family etc i don't really care about like you know going out partying having a good time you know meeting with this person networking with that person like that just doesn't mean anything to me right now mainly due to the fact that I need to focus on what my current goals and priorities are. And that's the thing, like I said, I get it. It's cliche and people are like, oh, you know, I'm out here sacrificing, doing what's best to reach my goals. You know, it's tough. I'm mean, gonna no, know, but for me, it's not. It's not hard at all. It's not a hard decision for me to decide that this is what I care about more right now. And that's kind of my point. Like, I feel like a lot of people feel like they have to sacrifice so much, but at the end of the day, no one's making me do this meet. No one's making me go through this prep. No one's making me choose to like, you know, not go to like, you know, summer shredding or, um, Europa this time around. It's just the fact that I understand those things will still be around next year. And right now, this is what I care about being the best I can be at this meet. And if that means, you know, saving more energy and being able to recover better by not going to certain events right now, I'm totally okay with that, guys. It's not that I'm not aware of like how awesome those events are. I've been to them. It's not that I'm not aware of what it can potentially do for me. It's just the fact that it doesn't matter right now. What matters right now is this meet and doing everything I can within my ability to make sure I'm properly prepped for it. And that's really all it comes down to, guys. And I think you guys are gonna see with the rest of this video that it was worth it. Like, you know, not doing a bunch of traveling and just like trying to really focus on resting and recovery is definitely paying off. It's definitely gonna pay off because that's my main priority right now, guys. It's like, at this point, you know, most of the hard work for the prep is done. It's really just a matter of making sure that I'm going in, doing what I need to do as far as hitting my numbers, hitting my RPs, and making sure I'm resting and recovering and this isn't like you know like like a diss to anyone that's been asking me about it or those who've been expressing concerns so i appreciate you guys care about like the future of my channel but don't worry i'm good and it's gonna be well worth it come meet day i promise but yeah that's pretty much all i want to chat with you guys about just kind of clarify that kind of let you guys know what's up what my mindset is don't worry you boys out here go and take care of business gonna you know the future of the channel isn't in jeopardy nothing like that but yeah you guys go ahead and enjoy the rest of the video Channel, Tim. I never <laughs> Hi guys, so squats went really, really well. Especially for me, like you guys know I'm a more like consistent tension squatter than a fast squatter. But even for me, man, like relatively speaking, this thing was really fast. And RP 5 to 6 they should have, but I'm really happy. Anyway, 
top one we really came for deadlifts. I have nothing to say guys. I'm lit. PR with so much left in the tank. Like solid RP8. And I it flew, man. Like like I always have to like, you know, like like really make sure I make sure I stay tight to like for the lockout, especially conventional. But when it flies like that, I'm good, man. Like big pull coming. That's all I got to say. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you did. If you did not leave a comment down below, let me know what I can do better. Like the video, share, subscribe. Keep it simple, specific, scientific. I'll catch y'all later.